If you own a Google Pixel smartphone, then I can promise that most of you are going to be unaware of this little camera shortcut that's been included in Android for close to 10 years now. It will allow you to quickly jump into recording a video, or it will open up the camera with the front facing lens activated instead of the rear one. These shortcuts can even be set up as their own icon on your home screen, potentially saving you from missing out on those important life moments. If you're using the Google camera and you need to quickly jump into selfie mode, then you can set this up ahead of time by finding the application icon and then performing a long press gesture. You're gonna see this menu pop up and here you have the ability to launch the application instantly in selfie mode. This is called an app shortcut, and while some people are gonna be familiar with this, the majority of you will not know that you can actually tap and drag this icon shortcut to a spot on your home screen. You can see it's going to be labeled as selfie. This will create a dedicated application icon for you to tap on that will open up the camera application and instantly switch you over to the front facing lens. Great for those times when you need to quickly snap a selfie without wasting any time. Similar to the selfie shortcut that I just showed you, you have the ability to create an app shortcut icon for video recordings as well. It works just like before so you're going to find your Google camera application icon and then perform a long press gesture on it. You'll see this menu appear, and now you have the option of tapping on that video shortcut and launching the camera directly into video recording mode. However, you can also tap and drag this to an empty spot of your home screen so that you have an app shortcut specifically for recording videos. Then, the next time you need to quickly record a video, you can just tap on this app icon shortcut, and not only will it open up the Google camera, but it will automatically switch you over into video mode, so that all you have to do is tap on that record button. As mentioned, app shortcuts have been a feature since 2016, when it was launched with Android 7.1 Nougat. These have to be configured by the developer though. So if you don't see this menu appear when you long press on your favorite app icon, then it's because the developer hasn't set it up that way. It would then be a good idea to contact that dev and see if they would consider adding it in a future update. I actually have the Google Play Store icon on my daily driver set as an app shortcut so that I can instantly jump into the My Apps section and manually update my installed applications and games without having to go through a bunch of menu options first. I encourage you all to perform this long press gesture on any of your most used applications to see if there are any hidden app shortcuts for you to use. And please, do not forget to like this video as it really helps to keep me motivated to create more content. And if you could, also subscribe to the channel as I'm really getting close to that 100,000 subscriber milestone. I hope you can all enjoy the rest of your day and the weekend as well. You'll find me right back here on Monday with more Android content like this.